blood supply to the heart, the left coronary artery. The human heart is the muscle that supplies blood to the entire body, but for it to do so, it needs blood for its own functioning as well, and that blood comes from none other than our own heart itself. The part of the circulation that supplies blood to the heart is called coronary circulation. It includes the coronary arteries, which oxygenate the myocardium. Myo means muscle, cardium means heart, and the cardiac veins, which carry the deoxygenated blood out of the myocardium. It must be understood that for the entire body to receive an endless and steady supply of oxygenated blood day in, day out, 24 hours a day and 7 days a week, the heart is required to function constantly without the slightest interruptions. This naturally means that its own circulation is of vital importance, not only to its own tissues, but to the entire body. Two coronary arteries originate from the left side of the heart at the beginning of the aorta right after the aorta exits the left ventricle. Three aortic sinuses emerge from the wall of the aorta, just superior to the aortic semilunar valve. The left posterior aortic sinus gives rise to the left coronary artery, and the right anterior aortic sinus gives rise to the right coronary arteries. The third sinus, the right posterior aortic sinus, typically does not give rise to a vessel. Left coronary artery LCA the left coronary artery LCA will distribute blood to the left side of the heart, which includes the left atrium, left ventricle, and the interventricular septum. The first major branch of LCA is the left circumflex artery, which travels and supplies blood to the left side of the heart muscles, also known as the left atrioventricular septum. The name circumflex suggests it goes around in the septum towards the posterior surface of the heart, where it will eventually anastomose with the branches of RCA. The second major and larger branch of LCA is the anterior interventricular artery. Anterior interventricular indicates that it lies on the anterior surface of the heart and travels in the septum in between the two ventricles, hence interventricular. It is also known as the left anterior descending artery, LAD. Numerous smaller branches emerge from it that combine with the posterior interventricular artery into anastomosis. The interesting fact is if the artery is blocked, the heart can stop really fast, which is why any occlusion of this artery is deadly. It is very rightly named the Widowmaker. In addition to these two branches, many small atrial branches that supply the atria and ventricular branches that supply the ventricles also originate from the main trunk. In the next video, we will continue to the right side, along with the secret mechanism that the body has in store to help with heart issues. Right Coronary Artery RCA The right coronary artery RCA distributes blood to the right side of the heart, which includes the right atrium, the right ventricle, and some part of the left ventricle. In addition to the right heart, RCA also supplies the heart conduction system, the SA node, the AV node, and the Purkinje fibers. The major branch of RCA arises at the inferior margin of the right ventricle and is called the right marginal artery. It supplies blood to the superficial portions of the right ventricle inferior margin or surface. RCA gives rise to the posterior interventricular artery on the posterior surface of the heart, and it travels in the posterior interventricular septum. It is also known as the posterior descending artery, as it runs along the posterior surface of the heart towards its apex, giving rise to branches that supply the interventricular septum. In addition to these two branches, many small atrial branches supplying the atria and ventricular branches supplying the ventricles also originate from the main trunk. Anastomosis of the heart. Here, it is imperative to mention about anastomosis. As mentioned before, anastomosis is the path where two branches of arteries join up and give dual blood supply to an area. If one coronary artery is obstructed by an atheroma, or thrombus, or an embolism, the second artery would still supply oxygenated blood to the myocardium. One can say that it is a protective mechanism of the body against the risk of ischemia. Most commonly, three areas of anastomosis are seen in the heart. 
The branches of the posterior interventricular branch of the right coronary combine with the left anterior descending branch of the left coronary in the interventricular groove or sulcus. A bigger anastomosis is between the left circumflex artery, a branch of the left coronary artery, and the right coronary artery in the atrioventricular groove. Another anastomosis is seen between the septal branches of the two coronary arteries in the interventricular septum. However, this protective mechanism in the myocardium is relatively restricted. First, this can only occur if the obtrusion progresses slowly, giving the anastomosis sufficient time to proliferate. The anastomosis is also somewhat small-scaled in the heart, so a coronary artery blockage, more often than not, results in myocardial infarction, causing the death of the tissue being supplied by that specific vessel. Variation The left and right coronary arteries occasionally arise by a common trunk, or their number may increase to three, the additional branch being the supernumerary coronary artery or right Vusen's artery, which is smaller in size. In rare cases, a person will have the third coronary artery run around the root of the aorta. Coronary artery dominance. The artery that supplies the posterior aspect of the interventricular septum or the posterior descending artery determines coronary dominance. If the posterior descending artery is supplied by the right coronary artery, then the coronary circulation would be classified as right dominant. However, if a branch of the left artery, specifically the left circumflex artery, supplies the posterior descending artery, then the coronary circulation would be classified as left dominant. If the posterior descending artery is supplied by both the right coronary artery and the circumflex artery, then the coronary circulation would be classified as co-dominant. The usual picture of the population suggests that 70% of the people are right dominant, 20% co-dominant and 10% are left dominant.